So here we are again on the um, uh, Antrim coast in, in Northern Ireland. Uh, it's tipping with rain outside at the moment. Uh, you don't want to go out. And that's, that's the, the wonderful thing uh, when I'm working on this little sort of pushar, this portable paint box uh, with acrylic, got a piece of scrap mounting board, just messing around really. And um, what's great is that you can do this if you've got uh, material you've gathered perhaps over the years. You can um, go back to these places and uh, visit them, revisit them uh, on a day, wet day like this today. And you can spend some time actually, like I am at the moment, on the Antrim coast and uh, revisit these areas. And uh, it's a bit like when I had the camper van and going off in the camper van and think, well, where should I go today? And then in the middle of the night, wake up and think, well, it's sound asleep. Where would I want to wake up tomorrow and sit off in the van going to the sleep and should get up and it would be somebody totally different to where we went to bed in the night. <laughs> and it's a bit like that with this. You can um, you can just visit an area. And this is this is now is Ballantoy Harbour. Well, near the harbour. The harbour's behind here. And um, and um, but this is the, I think the best angle you can get of this building. And um, what I might do, I, I'm going to keep it on the grey side. I think with the with the sky. I think I'll keep it just, I'm mixing a bit of cadmium red red with the blue. I'll well, see what we got here. But I don't want it, I want it looking more blue than than red. Okay, I think I might do it. Just to give a bit of variation to the sky, that's all. Come on then, there we go. We've got plenty of room here, so why not? And uh, it's not too busy a, a view. It was very busy. I tend to simplify the sky and not not do too much of it. But uh, you can actually do something with it like this. And I think that might be it, really. That will be just enough. I think we'll keep everything on this grey side when it comes to the sea of the building. Let's do the sea in as we've got this. Let's get the let's get this water in as well. I've got the big brush here, and then I can see exactly where I'm going. You've got a little bit of a beach here at the, at the last, yeah. yeah. Well, it's nice just to get these big areas in and you can see exactly then what, uh, what you've got. And uh, well, I've got this big brush. I might, I might just get the rocks in as well, I think. So I'm putting a bit of burnt umber with this now. And uh, and again, that will be the base colour, really. And we get something similar in over here, I think. Put the rocks over here, and then we got we got rocks behind there as well. So I need to do them more on the this blue side, but yeah, it's over. And a little bit of green, and I think I'm done as much as I can do for now. Actually, I'll just um, just get a hint of green in there. Let's have a look here. There we go. Little bit bit there. Just suggestions so I know where they are here. With a bit of the water coming through by there, behind this building. We we'll have some. Of the headland in the back here. Let's have a look. That's a bit of headland, which will come out there as well behind this. So I can see, and really, that's that's all I need to do for now. Right, I've tried to create a, a sense of atmosphere <coughs> here. I wanted a stillness, sense of atmosphere. So I've. Use the same colours of the of the sky into the sea and create this very much a still sort of calm sea. So now let's get on with um, what is the focal point here? And I said before with the white, you you you're better just getting one coat on. Don't think about windows and all of that. Just get one coat on and 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 leave it. And uh, these angles have all got to go the same. 
I'm going to match up. And now I want a, a blue. It's a bit of a cadmium red, I think. There we go. And a little bit of, of ultramarine blue. Let's see what we get on here. Let's see what this is like. No, that's not. It's a bit too mucky. Uh, I think it's time for me to clean my palette, really, and get some clean colours on you. But anyway, we're at the very end, so I'm not going to fuss now. There we go. So that will be in shadow there. No, I wouldn't mind it more blue than that. So again, I see all the time it's corrections all the time. You're making corrections. And then... Um, Oh, then I want a dark for the for the roof. So I'm using ultramarine blue with um, some burnt umber. And again, this will take a couple of coats, and you'll see in the finished painting how this has uh, come off. But. Um, Already there, you can see the, you can see what's coming. This is going to take a lot of adjustment, really. There we go. I think that's a bit better. I think that's a bit better. There. Yeah. That angle is dropping away too much. So I'll keep it in there. I'm going to use the rigger just for this little point now. And that'll be it for this. Until I actually... I'm going to have a cup of coffee. Good if there's not a bed yet. She's still in bed. I'm going to have a cup of coffee. And uh, I to eat. And then come back to it with a fresh eye. And finish him off. But, um, yeah, that's not so bad, actually. That's a good bit. See with the rig I can get these very fine lines. Which are so important here in a building like this. Which is your focal point. Here we are, um, near Ballantyre, Ballantyre Harbour, which is just around the side here. But I think that will do for now. Um, here we are with the uh, finished painting um, of near Ballantyre Bay in, in County Antrim. And um, <coughs> so the focal point, the cottage. Uh, put a bit of a moon in there to sort of balance it. Connected with that, a uh, bit of a little bit of a reflection, create a bit of an atmosphere, and just shows it doesn't take that long to produce something like this. Let me just um, share something with you. You might find a help. This is only a six by eleven inch uh, board, so if I take that out, and then let's get this one get that away a minute over there, and you see what I've done here. I've got a lot of mounting board that I've cut, scrap mounting board. Um, just turn the, the camera up a bit and you can see it probably more there than I've you know, out the way. And uh, you can see what I've done. I've These are, these, again, what I've done in the pochard. And I've just uh, cut a little bit of mounting board for, a, for an 8 by 10 inch um, frame. Uh, and that's Tala Finlake. Uh, and that's Creeb Goch. But again, if you look at how um, effective they are only 6x8 and then what I've done you've got you can get frames quite cheaply today and uh, that was about £2 I think uh, and a glass so and there it is mounted so uh, easy way to sort of get them mounted frame them doesn't cost a lot I've got a mount cut there which I've had for now about 30 years I suppose and it's a rule and then this slides up and down, so you just put it on the mountain board. You mark the um, aperture out first, and then just it, it's fail proof. Really. You can't you can't uh, go wrong with it because it just slides along this groove, gets a straight line. You can't cut yourself. And um, yeah, I've had this about thirty years. Good investment, this, and um, a mapped one. Yeah, they're not that expensive actually. And if you can find your mountain board, cut them out and. Uh, and um, yeah, so if I was to put a, a mount on this one I've just done, so I can see where we are with this. 
how has this come out? And they're not so bad, I suppose. Um, you see, there we are. That's in a that's in a mount there. That could go into a frame. So um, there we are. Hope that's a bit of a of a help.